So you're planning a move to Florida to live on the Space Coast and the city of Rockledge keeps popping up on your radar? Well, in this video, it's all about Brevard County's oldest city, which is Rockledge, Florida. My name is Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here on the Space Coast. And when I'm not making videos like this one, I'm helping people buy and sell real estate. If you have plans of making a move soon, let me know how I can help. Rockledge, Florida, which was founded August 1877, is Brevard County's oldest city. Named after all the ledges of Coquina Rock that were found on the Indian River shores, hence the name Rock Ledge. Rockledge has a population of just over 28,000, which makes it Brevard County's fifth largest city. It has a land mass of 14.9 square miles, making it the sixth largest city in land size. City of Rockledge is centrally located in Brevard County. The, the northern boundaries is the city of Cocoa, just south of 520. The southern boundaries is unincorporated Melbourne, which in some parts is Vieira. And on the east boundary is the Indian River. The west side of the city is I-95, but all of the 32955 actually extends to the Brevard County border, which is on the St. Johns River. Because of this location, I love the accessibility of living in Rockledge. You have US-1, which runs parallel to the river, is a great connector to the north and south. On the west side of town, we have I-95, which is an excellent connector north and south. There are some secondary roads inside the city limits, which is Fifth Boulevard or Morrell Road, which are also north-south great connectors. So Rockledge has two exits connecting it to I-95, and you have Barnes, Barton, Eister, and Vieira Boulevard, which are your east and west connections. Even though the city of Rockledge doesn't have a destination downtown area, you are relatively close to Cocoa Village to the north or to the south, you have the avenues at Vieira. What Rockledge does offer that I consider as their town center is City Hall right on Barton Boulevard. You have to the east side of it is the Civic Hub Park, which has some walking trails and amphitheater, and they're planning on doing some outdoor Wi-Fi for this location. I see future city events happening at the Civic Hub. And to the west of City Hall, you have McClarity Park. This park offers baseball, basketball, tennis, swimming, playgrounds, and walking trails. McClarity Park is not the only park that Rockledge has to offer. You have the Crookshank Sanctuary, which has some great nature trails to explore. There's Dick Blake Park that has skate park, soccer, playgrounds, and a preserve. Valencia Dock or Riverfront Dock on Rockledge Drive offers you a pier on the Indian River. The McKnight Sports Complex has baseball, football, racquetball, and soccer. Parks like Walk the Rock and Taylor Moores Park offer trails around the lakes to be outdoors and just staying active. You can go fishing at Larry Schultz Park, Gulf View Park, Anderson Stormwater Park, and the Griffin Trail at Lake Betsy. The city of Rockledge is even thinking about your four-legged babies because there's Barks and Recreation Dog Park off of Pluckabom. If schools are important to you, this is what the city of Rockledge has to offer if you're living in the 32955. Elementary schools is Anderson, Endeavor, Gulfview, Manatee, Suntree, Tropical, or Williams. The middle school is McNair, Kennedy, or Delora. And for high schools, you're either going to Rockledge High or Vieira High. And something important to know because school zones are always changing and even the ratings of schools change from year to year. It's important before, before you buy a home, you go to one of the many sites that are available online to verify the, your house location to the school district. And also you have, gives you an opportunity to look at the school's ratings as well. What do you think of the video so far? Thumbs up or appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button. And whenever a city has great parks and great schools, these need to get paid for through your property taxes. Here is what the millage rate is for the city of Rockledge and unincorporated Rockledge for 2022. The Rockledge city limits millage rate is 16. Unincorporated Rockledge is 1189. And if you're living in either Vieira East or West on the Rockledge side, your millage rate is 1194. Keep in mind, if you are living in Vieira East, there could be a CDD on your tax bill. And I'll have a link in the description below so you can learn more about that. And if hospitals are a part of your research with your move, fortunately throughout Brevard County, we have some quality hospitals and doctor facilities. One of these hospitals is in Rockledge, which is the Rockledge Regional Medical Center. Besides the doctors and 
medical offices at the medical center throughout the 32955 there are other doctor's offices and emergency clinics throughout the area if you're looking to live on or near a golf course rockledge in the 32955 has three options for you you have the rockledge country club you have turtle creek and you also have the Vieira East Golf Course. And if you're looking just for practice, there is the driving range on US-1 that you can go and hit a bucket or two of balls onto. So where are you gonna live? There are a lot of options for you in Rockledge and the 32955 zip code. You could live on the Indian River in the Intercoastal. You could live near the Indian River or the Intercoastal. You could be in a turn of the century home. You could be living in a mid-century home. You could live new construction. You have the option of living in a homeowners association, outside of a homeowners association. You could live in a 55 and up community. And if you're looking for acre plus lands, there's plenty of options in Rockledge as well. So in all of 2022, there were 782 sales in Rockledge in the 32955, most of which, like any other city on the mainland, were single family homes. And here's a breakdown of these sales. We had 599 single family homes sell in 2022, ranging from 160,000 to 2.7 million. There were 32 homes selling over a million dollars. They ranged in size from 880 square feet to over 5,000 square feet, with lots ranging from a zero lot line to just over two acres. And these homes were built between 1901 to brand new construction. There were 119 condo sell in 2022, ranging from 95,000 to 720 grand. They ranged in size from a 405 foot studio to 2,100 square foot riverfront condo. And these were built between 1974 and new construction. And there were a dozen manufacturers homes that sold in 2022, ranging from 40,000 to 195 grand. Uh, they range from a 384 foot single wide to 1830 square foot. And these were built between 1972 and 2020. So as you're doing your research on where you want to live here in Brevard County in the Space Coast, I hope Rockledge stays on your list. If you do happen to have any more questions about Rockledge or your move here to Florida, I'm here to help. You can call me, you can text me, you can comment below. If you're on any of these social media platforms, you can find me there and send me a direct message. However you like to communicate, I am great with. My name's Eric Larkin with Real Brokers. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next show.